eggplant. Welcome to this video where I'll be discussing how you can integrate the execution of eggplant functional tests into the tool or framework of your choice. Most commonly when integration is discussed in the context of eggplant functional, people are referring to executing scripts, tables, features, or schedules from tools that perform automated test executions, and then processing the results from those executions. Examples of such tools are continuous integration tools, including Jenkins, or test management tools such as MicroFocus ALM. Eggplant functional executions can also integrate with custom frameworks or dashboards, bug tracking tools, notification systems, and more. During this video, I'll discuss and demonstrate using each of Eggplant Functional's four integration methods for the purpose of integrating executions and results handling with various types of tools that are used in the software development lifecycle. Command line integrations are for use with any tools or frameworks that can make command line calls. Most continuous integration and test management or ALM tools are able to make command line calls. Most custom frameworks are able to as well, by virtue of the programming language used to create the framework. Command line is an easy approach for directly executing the different types of eggplant functional tests, including scripts, tables, schedules, and features. Command line executions include console output that can sometimes be redirected by the application that is making the command line call. When the command line call finishes execution, it returns an exit code, informing the application whether the call was successful. Once the execution finishes, there's a set of results that can be copied or uploaded to the desired location. Here's an example of a command line call being made from Jenkins. I have a Jenkins build step to execute a Windows batch command on this Windows machine. I've indicated the script I wish to execute as part of the build step. I've also specified the connection information for the SUT I wish to execute the script against. The command line output flag prompts Eggplant to include script logging information in the standard output for the command line call. This allows more information to appear in the Jenkins console for the build. The global results folder flag provides an opportunity to save the results of the script execution in a special folder, which can make manipulating the eggplant functional results easier once the execution is finished. I can also pass parameters to my script using the param flag. Once the build completes, Jenkins detects and displays whether the script passed or failed. In this case, it failed. The console includes details of the eggplant logs because of the command line output flag. The results also appear in the workspace for the project, as I used the global results folder flag to save the results directly into the workspace. As many continuous integration and test management tools and frameworks are able to make command line calls, consider using the command line approach when integrating eggplant script executions with your tool or framework of choice. Eggplant EggDrive integration can be leveraged by any script or framework that supports XML RPC client libraries. Most modern programming languages have access to such libraries. EggDrive is used for executing eggplant functional code from within the context of a non-eggplant script. Because EggDrive is available on the network as a web service, the eggplant installation can be on a different machine than the machine that is running the script or program that calls to EggDrive. You can call any aspect of SenseTalk through EggDrive, from full scripts to single commands. There's an XML RPC response for each piece of SenseTalk that is called, which can then be processed directly by the script that made the call to Eggplant Functional. Any logs and results files created when using EggDrive are also available to be copied or uploaded elsewhere by the utility of choice. Before making calls to EggDrive, EggDrive must be started. EggDrive is started via a command line call, at which time you can specify flags that enhance the results created by EggDrive. The drive logging flag, when set to 2, logs the full content of each XML RPC message sent by Eggplant Functional. Use the drive output file flag to redirect the EggDrive session log to a file. If you plan to call SenseTalk's run with new results command using EggDrive, the global results folder allows you to specify where results from the command are stored, if you wish them to be saved outside of the suite. 
As an aside, if you're actively developing a script or framework that leverages EggDrive and you want a more interactive scripting experience where calls made to EggDrive appear in the eggplant functional GUI, start EggDrive with the Run GUI flag. Here's an example of making calls to EggDrive from within a C-sharp script. This particular script is part of a Visual Studio unit test. In this script, I'm making a few calls to Eggplant through EggDrive. The script can parse any XML RPC responses that come from making the calls to EggDrive. Results from the Run with New Results command appear in the Global Results folder and can be programmatically moved or updated elsewhere by my C-sharp script. TestPlant provides software applications that allow out-of-the-box integration between Eggplant Functional and MicroFocus ALM and IBM RQM specifically. These integration applications are available as products. The applications can be downloaded and then installed and configured through an install wizard. You can find information about these products on our website and online documentation. The integration applications primarily facilitate the automatic upload of execution results into MicroFocus ALM or IBM RQM. In this example with MicroFocus ALM, you can see that ALM is executing eggplant functional via a command line call. When the execution finishes, ALM displays whether the run was a success or a failure. Attachments, such as screenshots in the log file, are uploaded automatically with the test run. Eggplant scripts executed outside of ALM, such as through Jenkins, will also have their results uploaded. The IBM RQM integration functions similarly, providing a location to configure the command line call within RQM and automatically uploading results from the execution when the tests are run. API integrations provide a method for allowing eggplant scripts to communicate directly with another tool that has available APIs. Many modern test management, bug tracking, and notification tools include APIs that eggplant can interact with to post results. Alternatively, Eggplant Manager has APIs that allow programmatic execution of tests and gathering of results, such as by a dashboard or continuous integration tool. Here's an example of an API call I've configured in Eggplant Functional. This API call posts a message to a channel in Slack. My Eggplant Functional script is written to make this API call only in the event that a script fails. I can run the script directly in the Eggplant Functional interface, but more likely, I'll probably be running the script from some other tool, such as a continuous integration or test management tool. Finally, here's an example of calling Eggplant Manager's API from a Python script for the sake of executing tests and checking their results. In summary, in this video we discussed how you can use any of the four integration mechanisms to integrate Eggplant Functional with just about any tool or framework for the purposes of executing tests and handling the results of those tests.